going up north. I'm going to meet up with some folks and we're going to do some trail maintenance and repair in the Chappie OHV area, working with local governments and local agencies to get some work done. So Overland Bound has had the Trail Guardian program. We also have a boots on the ground program that we're just rolling out. And that's more working with local government agencies to tap into the Overland Bound community. Check us out, maybe become a member and you guys will be connected to what's going on. We're just doing a pre-run so that tomorrow we know what we're gonna get into and we'll have a, a plan laid out and we can be as efficient as possible. Oh. Oh. So we're checking each culvert as we go up this road. Uh, of course, if they're not clear, it won't drain. It'll take out this whole road. So uh, here in this case, this is very close, very close to being completely blocked. So tomorrow we're going to clear that out with the crew. Holy cow. Look at that. Huh. Now the question is, so what year would that have been? But that's a nice slow burn. Takes out all the stuff below. And you can see the jack pines, they're still intact. They've been scorched a little bit, but they're still in good shape. We don't have, there's no mineral damage here. Like there is, I bet you there's severe mineral damage up above. Ken, why, why do you know what you're talking about? Why, why you know, you're, you're just pointing out some of the way that the fire was burning when it burned a few months back. Um, well, my specialty yeah. was wildland firefighting. Uh -huh. And uh, even though I was a municipal firefighter, I was able to uh, specialize in wildland firefighting. And I spent a lot of time working with teams, incident command teams, like on these fires. And I have never been on this side of the river, but I've been on many fires on the other side, up in Lassen mineral all those areas we've been to yeah and it's just amazing to see the difference in the in the last 15 years since i've been out of the fire service well give or take um the difference in fuel the stuff this stuff that's burning is i'd have to say 50 percent difference uh -huh. the btus coming off of these fires now is incredible and you know that can be attributed to anything it can be attributed to not thinning the forests. It can be attributed to uh, what they would you might want to call global warming. Um, it can be attributed to anything, mm -hmm. but things have changed, mm -hmm. and that's a big deal. And this is this is uh, and the part we saw when we came up here, the scorched will actually be above us here. The scorched earth here. This won't come back for years because that's mineral damage. It's not just California. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the damage. You know, if we can help keep this open. Especially the culverts you and I have been looking at. I mean, that's just, you know, if we got to clean the culverts, got to put in the barriers, got to put up signage, keep people from going places they shouldn't go because you know they will go there. Yep. And that's not just any type of, you know, one specific group, it's anybody. Um, not that we're perfect, but, you know, if we can get on this and keep doing it, and we, and the other problem here is that we don't want to, our program, we don't want to keep it centered only on fire. Yeah. Because, you know, we have wind damage, we have storm damage, uh, snow damage, you know, geological issues that we can help out with too, not just post-fire. Although, obviously in California, <laughs> post-fire is what's happening. Yeah. And hopefully we get more of our members to come out and help us. Mm -hmm. You know, we got a bunch coming tomorrow and uh, we'll 
nail down our program a little bit better, how we yeah. contact people, and well, I think that we'll do a good job. It's aptly named. Uh, we have a we have a lot of boots on the ground that can do a lot of good. Yeah, well, yeah. think about our think about our uh, our base. I mean, I put a rally point out the other day. Within I had for 60 miles, and I was at uh, 750 people. But just in amazing, a 60 mile radius, and, yeah. and that's in Sacramento area. Yeah. In LA, if I did that, it would have been 14 miles. <laughs> so we have a population. We have a good membership base. And we have a lot of it, you know, some extremely energetic people that want to come help. We just got to kind of wrangle everybody together. Yep. Working on it. It's a lot of work. All right. So Bureau of Land Management has already put these up here uh, for us to install tomorrow. Hey, a lot of folks that might see this video will, will say, hey, well, what can I do? What can I do to help? We agree. Well, you can pound some rebar. That's what you can do. <laughs> Everybody sign in. You know, this is a historic event today because our little group, Post Wildfire OHV Recovery Alliance, FORA, uh, the W is silent, Yeah, we've uh, made a commitment to restore all of our trails that have been burned and devastated by the wildfires. This BLM area here is really a good example. So this will be our starter, our kickoff event. And we'll get these trails restored. We'll probably have to come back again because mm -hmm. there's a lot of area out here. Well, yeah, we went up there, we drove the trails yesterday and you can see the devastation yeah. from the fire and what's happened and of right. course they're running cats out here so there's a lot of work to be done. And, and you know, I'm an old firefighter, yeah. we fully understand using cats, bulldozers yeah. to make line starting from our trails. It made sense. You got to stop the fire. Got to stop the fire. Yeah. Now we'll go back and we'll fix those areas. Put the trails back into our use. Well, we're gonna we're gonna in just a moment here. We're gonna listen to some words, coordinate, yeah. and we're gonna go pound some rebar. That's what we're gonna do, All buddy. Right. <laughs> Thanks right, for man. showing up. Now with with public land management, it's all about a team effort between uh, you know it's a it's a organization like you get the agencies and then they're gonna work with volunteers. We are responsible recreationalists. We stay on trails. We follow rules. We encourage other people to follow the rules. And, and with that, um, you know, we're here to help when they need it. Yeah, you look at some of the issues we have right now in our country, you know, and, and specifically here in Northern California, and you have the problems with drug addiction, yeah. and you have problems with, you know, with the opiates and with the methamphetamines, and, and a lot of that comes from people that are masking their emotional issues, and what they're not getting down to is, is that they do need to de-stress, they need to reconnect with nature, they need to be out and, you know, breathing fresh air and doing things that are basic human, you know, functions that we've got away from you know no, it's like, it's like, it's right. like <laughs> you you hit the nail on the head that's why i started laughing because i really think you're right um you know the 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 cycle we can get into day to day you know mo just modern day living is against our dna right i, I mean you, true you're not exploring you're not out there overcoming adversity necessarily and so people need this recovery. right exactly you have to kind of pay attention and do your due diligence as far as being involved so being aware of of you know through organizations like overland bound and different you know there's uh there's many organizations out there i know like here there's a lot of jeep folks here today we have cal four wheel drive is like a major one here in california um there's a uh, you know if you're a motorcycle racer the AMA district 36 is a good one but you have different organizations that are there that could um, that you could go to and they will keep you up to date second part of it is to, to volunteer because we're all coming together it doesn't matter what we, what your type of vehicle is but we're coming together and we're going to volunteer and work together.
said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet with exploration and adventure a necessary part of life, we need to understand the land we travel through is fragile. The consequences of carelessness or lack of knowledge can be overwhelming, just as they were in Redding, California due to the car fire. If we all do a little bit, connect with a community that understands, and we work together, we'll preserve our public lands, keep them open, and even in the case of unprecedented devastation, will do what it takes to give a region a new start. Be